Hello and welcome to this Learn at Home lesson. This is the second of two science lessons that are included in the Key Stage 1 Learn at Home lesson pack. On screen now is a list of everything you will need to take part in today's lesson. When you see the pause icon appear on screen, pause the video and take a moment to think about the question I've asked you. If you're working with someone, you could talk to them about your ideas. Do you have everything you need? Then let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to continue to learn all about the Arctic, and today we will be exploring how animals adapt to their habitats to survive. What is a habitat? A habitat is a natural home or environment that an animal lives in. Wally the walrus's habitat is the Arctic. It is very cold and icy. The Arctic is a very difficult habitat to live in. Animals who live in the Arctic have to make changes to their body over time to survive. This is called adapting. Do you know any Arctic animal adaptations? Do you remember from the last lesson in this series, polar bears, walruses and seals have blubber? Can you remember what blubber is? And did you know that blubber is an adaptation for these animals? Blubber actually keeps these animals warm so they can live on the cold ice and swim in the freezing water. All Arctic animals have adaptations to help them survive in the Arctic habitat. These adaptations are special characteristics of these animals. Now let's take a closer look at some of the adaptations that Arctic animals have. This is an Arctic hare. It is adapted to its Arctic habitat. And here's some of the ways that it's adapted. It has shorter ears to help keep the heat in its body. It has white fur in winter and brown fur in summer, and this helps it hide from predators. And the hare has large feet, and they stop it from sinking into the snow as it hops along. This is a polar bear and it's also adapted to its arctic habitat. It has large paws and claws to help it walk on the snow and not sink in. It also has, as we learned before, a layer of blubber under its skin, and this helps it stay warm. When the polar bear swims, its nostrils close so it doesn't drown in the water. This is a snowy owl, and it's also adapted to its arctic habitat. It has thick feathers to help keep its small body warm in the snow. Its ears are hidden to give the head a round shape, and that helps it hide more easily. And the owl has sharp claws to help it catch food and to hold onto tree branches. This is a reindeer, and it's adapted to its arctic habitat as well. It has large hooves, and they help it walk on snow and slippery ice. It also has special hair, and that hair allows the snow and ice to fall off its back so it doesn't get too cold. Its antlers are shaped like a shovel at the front to help them dig in the snow. This is a musk ox, and here's how it's adapted to its arctic habitat. It has a thick layer of fat under the skin to help it keep warm. It also has a thick coat of fur and an undercoat beneath it, and that helps it keep warm in the cold conditions as well. It has two large toes that spread wide so they can stand on slippery wet surfaces. This is a walrus, and here's how it's adapted to its arctic habitat. It has tusks, and those tusks are used to pull itself out of the water and to break breathing holes in the ice. It has a thick layer of blubber under its skin, and that helps it keep warm and it has strong flippers that are actually bumpy on the underside, and this helps it grip the slippery ice. So let's recap what we've learned today. Habitat means a natural home or environment for an animal. Adaptation means a characteristic that has changed to help an animal suit its habitat. And survive means to continue to live or stay alive. Now it's time for today's activity. On screen now is a worksheet that's included with the activity sheets that come with this Learn at Home lesson. 
your task is to complete the sentences to explain how each animal adapts to its arctic habitat. You can see that there are six animals pictured, and next to each animal there is a sentence with some words missing. We've also included a word bank, and you can use that word bank to help you complete the sentences. If you'd like to continue learning about Arctic animals after this lesson, you might like to use this extra worksheet we've included. It's on screen now. Choose an animal that we've looked at already. Can you make a fact file for the animal? You can see here on the sheet that there's space to draw a picture of the animal, name it, name its habitat, describe it, and also describe some of its adaptations that help it survive in the Arctic habitat. Again, you can use that word bank to help you, or you could use books or the internet with the help of an adult to find out more about that animal. Thanks for joining me for this Learn at Home lesson. You'll find information about this lesson as well as others in the series in the description below this video. And if you've not yet got your hands on the resources that go along with this lesson, or maybe you've just landed on this video for the first time on YouTube, stick around to find out how you can download the Learn at Home lesson packs as well as accessing thousands of other resources which are ideal for teaching and learning at school or at home from planb.com. For more information, advice and resources for learning at home, search for Plan B or visit planb.com. The Home Education page is packed with information about how we can help you with teaching your children at home as well as thousands of premium resources, including the Learn at Home lesson packs which accompany these videos, there are hundreds of free resources available to download as well. Don't forget to check the links and information in the description below this video for other ways in which Plan B can help you with learning at home.